everyone and welcome to another week of Trailer Thursdays. The first trailer I'm going to talk to you guys about today is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. It is based off of a really awesome book that I really want to read. This movie stars Logan Lerman, Emma Watson, and this other kid who I don't remember his name, but this trailer first premiered at the MTV Movie Awards and when I found that it was online, I just had to watch it again. I really like this trailer because it's about this kid who's played by Logan Lerman who is a freshman in high school and of course you know how it is just starting out really fresh and you don't know anybody and you're just trying to fit in. He unfortunately falls in that sort of loser category. I don't know, I really like this sort of duo of characters, one being um, Logan Lerman and Emma Watson. I'm really looking forward to this movie just because of them because I'm a huge fan of theirs. I think that the overall story is just, it's very true to the heart and it really represents something that just everybody goes through at some point in their lives and I think it's a really good representation of that. I'm really looking forward to this movie and I just think it has a really good story. It's just so good that I mean it makes you feel something for these characters. Hopefully the movie will be as good as the book is so um, you guys want to check out the trailer I'll post it in the description. On to the second trailer of the day is for Django Kane and this trailer had um, just been released online and it stars Jamie Foxx and Leonardo DiCaprio and I am really looking forward to this movie. It is a Quentin Tarantino film and I am a huge fan of his and I know that he's obviously good with his casting as well as the storyline. I think he just comes up with the most original stories and I think this is one of the coolest looking movies I've ever seen. Because Leonardo DiCaprio he plays this um, just like really mean sort of slave owner and he's got Jamie Foxx's wife and he's um, this slave and then he wants to basically take her back but then he ends up being with Christoph Waltz and they're sort of um, tag teaming trying to take down certain um, unscrupulous characters. I really like that and I know that um, Quentin Tarantino has used Christoph Waltz before also in Inglorious Bastards and that was also another good movie that he was in so I know that he's going to be amazing in this movie as well as the other actors. This movie looks really cool and it comes out in December so I'm also looking forward to that as well. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this movie and you guys can also check out the trailer in the um, description. And for the third and final trailer of the day it is called Wreck-It Ralph. It is a Disney movie and it's animated and I think it looks really cool. It's about this guy who's in this sort of um, arcade video game called Wreck-It Ralph and he's doing the same thing over and over again in the game and I really like it that it sort of takes on the point of view of the game characters instead of the person who's actually playing it. Everybody in the game that he's in is wondering where is he and so he's going to this sort of um, like video game like character anonymous sort of like just meeting all these other characters. I really liked in the trailer that you see the one scene and you see different video game characters like Bowser. I was really surprised to see Bowser and just like how awesome that was because I love Bowser as well as the um like that Pac-Man character with like the little like he looks like a ghost. I don't remember what they're called but it's another video game character from Pac-Man so they're all sort of coming together and talking about their lives in the games. And I also, I'm pretty sure Wreck-It Ralph also goes in a Halo game or something. He like has the Halo attire on. I'm like, really? This is so cool. Some of the voice actors are John C. Riley, Jane Lynch, and um, Sarah Silverman. They're all pretty funny actors, and I think that they're definitely going to add something really an original to the movie. So I'm really looking forward to this because I've never seen anything like this before. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of any of the following trailers of the day and which one are you most looking forward to seeing, which one looks the best. You guys can also subscribe to my channel. I've got more 
movie reviews, movie updates, and come back next week for my Trailer Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys later.